For each gun, they want to know two things. Over what distance is it lethal? But before that, will it even fire underwater? Nine millimeter, first shot. Three, two, one. <laughs> that looked cool. I think that might have made it all the way. That was rad. The whole water just like leaped up. Yeah. I think it went far. Oh, there it there is. There it is. I'd say that was about 18 feet. 18 feet. And the bullet is perfectly intact. One thing we're just kind of skipping over is we've just proven that you can fire a bullet underneath water. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so right there, it's confirmed. It's possible to shoot a gun underneath water. Test one's passed. A 9 mil will fire underwater. But as Grant discovers, it won't reload. So check it out. When I was resetting the ransom rest, I found the shell casing caught in the slide. It didn't eject the bullet. No, because it relies on the pressure. Right, and you have that water on top of it. So, so if you're shooting underwater, you only have one shot to kill the bad guy. Yep, you better get it right. So you've got one shot, but over what distance is it life-threatening? In the original story... OK, this is 9 millimeter pistol at 8 feet. Adam and Jamie showed you'd have to dive 8 Three, feet to survive a shot two, from a 9 mil. One. When it's fired into water from air... Whoa, no, that didn't go all the way through. But what about when it's in the water to begin with? From the barrel to the ballistics material were 10 feet. We're going with another 9 millimeter round full metal jacket. In three, two, one. Another fire, but was it lethal? So it didn't even have the penetration of a BB? No. Not lethal? Not at 10 feet. All right, why don't we do two feet, see what happens there. Uh, <sighs> great. Nine millimeter at two feet. Oh, yeah. But this time, when they look for the round, there's a problem. It's nowhere to be found. There's no obvious hole in the ballistics material. Oh, it's the magic bullet. It's the disappearing Wait. bullet. It disappeared. And it's not tucked away in the trough. I don't see it in here. It's all a bit of a mystery. Anywhere. At two feet, we couldn't find the bullet. So what we're going to have to do is dissect the uh, ballistics material block at the end of the experiment and see if we can find it. Right now, we're going to move on to the 357. There's no time to stop and search. With the light fading fast, the team must crack on with the rest of their weaponry. OK. 357 Magnum full metal jacket in three, two, one. Was that a bigger boom? <laughs> I, can't. I don't see a big hole. I bigger boom, go. same problem. The round is nowhere to be seen. No bullets. The 357 sure works underwater. But its deadliness is going to need some further dissection. <laughs> when Adam and Jamie Three, fired their shotgun into water, one. they found that it was deadly at a distance of 10 feet. Jesus wet, Jamie. That's definitely a lethal hit. But what about when the gun is already under? OK. Shotgun at 10 feet underwater in three, two, one. Just like the handguns, there's fire in the hole. But this time, there is a difference. Yay. Oh, look at that. It cracked all the way. The gun has exploded in half. Now, do you think that's because there was air in there somewhere, or it's just a really bad idea to shoot a shotgun underwater? I think it's a bad idea to shoot shotgun underwater. I doubt, seriously, there's any air in there. What a shame. So shotgun hunting underwater? Busted. <laughs> With the shotgun sunk, there's one rifle remaining. Up next, we have the M1 Garand, which actually has the exit velocity of 2,700 feet per second, which is basically like three times the energy of any of the guns we've shot today. Last time, the super fast M1's bullet one. disintegrated virtually on impact with the water. But now, when under, will it make you drown your sorrows? M1 Garand in three, two, one. <laughs> that was a good one. The gun's in one piece, but the bullet. Here's the bullet. Right there? Yep. So. What is that? What is that, about six feet? Yeah. What do you think? Around six feet. Unless you're point blank. 
I don't think this thing's lethal. I mean, it fell at six feet. Yeah, and it didn't even make it to our target. This time, the bullet hasn't shattered, uh, but it's still being rendered ineffective by water. I would say, though, it's pretty intimidating. I think if somebody was shooting one of those at me underwater and saw that explosion, I'd still be freaking out. Frightening for sure, but just a few kicks away, and the water will prevent the M1's bullet from spilling your blood. <laughs> but can the same be said of the handguns? We're back at the shop now, and we've taken our block of ballistics material, and we need to dissect it, because we didn't find any bullets or any bullet holes, and we want to find out if there might be one lodged in there that we can't see. No. Did you guys find anything? No. no. There's no holes. There's nothing. Okay, do you... Let's, let's take this off and just start cutting into it. Slice and dice? Yeah, sounds good. It's a careful operation as the team carves off one layer at a time, but it's beginning to look like the handgun rounds didn't even make it in. And there's nothing in here. Looks clean. Yeah. Until... Wait, 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 I feel something. Hey. <laughs> hey, there it is. It's the... It's the nine millimeter. It's the nine. It's the nine. I'm two inches from the back, which means it penetrated four inches deep. That's lethal. Well, let's keep cutting it, because we still don't have the 357. The 357 Magnum is more powerful than the nine mil, so the team keeps cutting deeper. Hey. Here's the other one. How deep is that? Wow, that went oh, whoa. That almost, almost went all the way through. All the way. I would say that's about five and a half, five and three quarters inches. Yeah. So at two feet, the Magnum, like the other handgun, will send you to a watery grave. So guys, bullets fired underwater, how did you do? Well, Jamie, you can actually fire a handgun or a rifle underneath water. But not a shotgun. Well, what happens to the shotgun? Blows up. Hmm. My young friend, were they lethal? Neither of them were lethal at a distance of more than three feet. It's actually more lethal to fire into water than underwater. So, what are you guys going to call this? Busted, plausible, or confirmed? Confirmed. You confirmed. can fire a gun underwater. Yes. Well, nice work, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Jamie. <laughs>